the foolproof method for shipping art. It's a wrap. Let's construct the second layer of protection for your canvas. Get out your wonderful free cardboard and lay it on the table. I've already cut off the flaps of the box and cut my piece to size. Turn your cardboard over so that any print printing is facing up. This way you'll have a nice clean surface for your label. Corrugated cardboard has visible lines running across it. Making folds that follow these lines is easy. To judge how much cardboard you will need, simply lay your sandwich even with the edge. Then pick it up and roll it until you've gone once across every side. Be sure to leave some extra at the end. A few inches will do. The width is determined by the size of the sandwich plus the height on each side. I have already made a fold on one side. This becomes the flaps to close your box. The flaps are running across the lines in the cardboard and they never give a clean fold. So I have marked where I want my fold to be and I'll use a blunt pencil to score along that line. You don't want to cut through it, just make a depression for the fold to follow. If you have tough cardboard, you can use the back side of a knife to do this job. Now we are going to wrap the cardboard around our sandwich, beginning even with the edge and firmly holding the sandwich in place. Pick up both and let the cardboard fold at the bottom. Continue doing this all the way to the end. Fold over the remaining few inches onto the box. Use your packing tape to hold the whole thing together. You need to go the whole way around the box, always ending with tape on tape. You are forming a sort of strap. A strap of tape on each end inside the fold line for the flaps should do the trick. You can always add another strap in the middle if needed. Now tape over that last fold. You really don't want any exposed edges that could catch on something while it's in transit. To make the flaps, you need to cut through the corners. You cut from the sandwich outwards. Just follow the line created by your folds. Now you can fold in the sides and then the larger flaps. Do this for both ends. Once again, you're going to be using your packing tape to make straps that go the whole way around the box, only this time in the opposite direction. This will hold your flaps down and give strength to the box. The last step is adding tape around the edges of the box. I go around and around until the entire edge is covered. I even make sure it folds over onto the front and back a bit. This may seem excessive, but those edges take the most punishment while being moved about. The tape prevents corners and edges from getting ripped and keeps them dry as well.
This method is great for a canvas. But what if your work is framed, has a textured or delicate surface? What if you need a reusable package? And then there's the whole array of decisions you have to make about how you're going to get that box to where it needs to go. All this and more is answered in the foolproof method for shipping art ebook and companion videos.